This is Paul. This is Paul's house. Paul's new house. And this, this is Paul's garden. And today, we're going to land on it. Drop off as the wind goes. Welcome to Shortfield, a channel all about the lighter side of aviation. And this time we are visiting a beautiful little strip in the heart of the Garden of England, which also happens to be the owner's backyard. So, buckle up, because here we go. Paul Anderson and his family are the owners of a beautiful property set in an idyllic location just over five nautical miles to the southwest of Ashford in Kent. The site is home to the Woodchurch Carriage Driving for the Disabled Group, a charity that offers disadvantaged participants the opportunity to get involved in all aspects of horse care and carriage driving. It also hosts the stunning airfield of Tiffenden, surely one of the UK's finest private strips, which can, well let's say at times, be pretty challenging. Tiffenden sits in a triangle of grass and farm strips with the famous wartime US Air Force base of Woodchurch less than two nautical miles to the northeast and the farm strip of Little Robhurst less than one mile to the south. Care must be taken when approaching Tiffenden as Little Robhurst circuit traffic can end up over the top of Tiffenden. Tiffenden boasts two grass runways orientated 0725 and 0624. The field is marked as being 106 feet above mean sea level, but is set on rising ground, with an upslope of 60 feet difference from the threshold of 0706 at 79 feet above mean sea level to the threshold of runways 24 and 25 being 139 feet above mean sea level. Both runways are listed in the poolies as 600 metres long, and they cross over around two thirds of the way along the 0607 length. The 06 runway has a tree very close to the strip at around 200 metres from the threshold. And both the southwesterly runways have trees and obstacles on their approach. And with the addition of the downslope, these are not normally used for landing. In anything but the strongest winds, it's standard practice that 07 be used for landing and 25 be used for departures, with the possible acceptance of a tailwind. With the rising ground and with obstacles up to 140 feet high beyond the 25 threshold, a go around on 07 can be particularly challenging, so it's best to get the aircraft down at the beginning of the runway and throw away any approach early that you are not happy with. The accepted circuit is to the northeast at 1000 feet and starts with a crosswind join, avoiding overflying the livery yard and any of the noise sensitive areas that are clearly marked on the poolies chart. I found Tiffenden initially quite difficult to see from the air on my first visit, although once you establish where it is, it actually stands out quite well with its unusual runway layout. Keep the field in view out of the left window during the downward leg and keep a good look out for any other traffic, especially any that may be in the little proper circuit. I extended my downward leg to give me plenty of time to set up for the final approach. Turning crosswind, it is this next section of the pattern where we get very close to the Little Robhurst strip itself and need to be super vigilant. Luckily it's not heavily used but that doesn't mean we shouldn't be careful. Ok, short field approach, full flap. Turning final at around a mile we configure the aircraft for a short field landing by selecting full flap and bringing the speed back. Today we are lucky and have a nice 10 to 15 knot headwind, but with lots of trees around it starts to get pretty turbulent as we descend. As we drop below the tree line on short final and over the threshold the wind just disappears Fully for a few seconds now. and we add power to arrest the descent. We aim to touch down within the first 100 metres to give us plenty of space to slow down although once on the deck the rising ground helps with that and minimal braking is usually required. Drop off as 
the wind goes. There you go. Didn't even use half of it. So, a pretty straightforward landing on a day like today, but when the wind is from anywhere other than the northeast, the landing difficulty can soon ratchet up. First tip of Hope you enjoyed that. After booking in at the hangar and with the owner's permission, you should take a walk up to the stone circle in the field above the strip and enjoy the views towards Tenterden. There's also a lovely walk that takes you past an ancient wood with the remains of a Roman road through it, then out across the wonderful Kent countryside to the quaint little village of High Horden for lunch at the Checkers on the Green pub. When it's time to go, we do our checks and run up where we park the aircraft, then taxi along the 07 runway we landed on, up the hill to the intersection, then take the left hand fork onto runway 06 and follow the cut grass around the top to enter runway 25. Due to residential properties immediately adjacent to the top portion of the field, you're encouraged to either do a rolling start or to increase power gently to keep noise to a minimum. Looking down the hill of runway 25, you should select an abort point should you wish to abandon the takeoff. Today, that wind that helped us with our landing will now add a considerable addition to our takeoff roll and our climb out angle, but luckily, this should be helped by the downward slope. So it's full power, keeping it running straight down the runway, then rotate. With the slight wing drop due to the tailwind, we get airborne and climb away. Again, keeping a watchful eye out for traffic in the little uh, Rob Hurst pattern. So that does it for this episode. There are quite a few small strips around the country where the owner actually lives and allows visitors. Have you flown into any and what were they like? Or would you like to but don't know who to ask? Please pop your comments in the section below. I'd love to hear about your experiences and recommendations and I read every comment. Thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to see more videos like this please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so I can let you know next time I upload a video. Hopefully you found this video helpful, fly safe guys but remember I am not an instructor, it is all based on my personal experience as a private pilot in the UK. Other countries may have different rules or requirements so always consult your local procedures. Short field out.